me just talk about practice. We sitting in here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. That's it. That's no, enough. What, that's what's enough. doing from his mouth? You know. No, Nito Donaire said, hey, boxing is entertainment. I need to make a powerful statement. And he made an explosive one inside four. He hit me in the eyebrow in the sixth round. My eyelid blew up and closed. It looked like a great big plum. About the 14th round, one of my managers says, we think we're going to stop the fight, because I couldn't see. And I said, if you stop this fight, you better be out of town before I get out of this ring. And I said, you're not stopping this fight. Lorenzo now, the product of right hands by Umberto Soto. Oh, another combination, and down goes Lorenzo. And this is starting to be the potential bloodletting we might have expected. I don't think he's going to make it through this fight, because it's not in the way. That's the left uppercut again. That left hook. Left uppercut. Left Joe uppercut. Cortez is thinking of stopping it. I'm not sure why he pulled Soto off. It looked to me like he thought he was going to stop it. And now Lorenzo goes down to a knee as if to say, I'm not ready for more. Cortez is going to take a moment to try to figure out what he's looking at here. The band I don't think Lorenzo knees. can go on. His Lorenzo nose is crushed. Oh, oh, oh. 
So Cortez has called a foul. He's okay. saying that Soto hit him behind the head, apparently. How can you tell when he's, his knee is on the floor? He was continually going up and down all the time. I think he's actually talking about disqualifying Soto. I, I, that that would be an injustice. Campus, which I would mean, be disgusting. That would be an injustice. And missing and knowing the fact that you know you're down on the score. Yeah, well, and there's born of a headbutt there, there and there's some blood. Blood right in the, in the middle of the forehead of Calderon. Yes. It's right I, know, I won't be surprised if they stop it because that's what happened to me when I fought uh, Raul Perez. That looks like that a terrible was a 20 cut. Second. Let's look in, see if we can pick it up in the corner. It's this stitched that up. It was absolutely the right move, a good call. Doctors were all over it, the referee, on the advice of the doctor. And you know, man, it doesn't look like it's bleeding. Oh, look oh, at that gash. Right, oh, yes. that's nasty. That's a nasty thing. How will, how will that ever go away, you know? How can they actually say that, you know, why are you going to stop this fight? But, you know, project out a little bit. That's going to take, that could take eight months a year to heal. Whatever, I mean, what a target that's going to be. It actually depends on his, on his healing, his own body, how the way he heals. Because the doctor's going to only do so much and that's stitch it up. Pacquiao always is, and so are we. I think you're looking at 12 rounds of nervous jeopardy, but he might win every round. But speed belongs to Pacquiao. Pacquiao using the hand speed advantage to get Margarito off of him. Yeah, Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him, but his face is telling a different story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every punch. He's beating Margarito up in this round. There's a huge bump under Margarito's right eye. He's backing Margarito up, and he's hurting him. And Margarito can say all he wants that Pacquiao can't hurt him, but that's not true. Greatest offensive fighter of the era. Pacquiao has his unanimous decision victory. Margarito has a vicious beatdown to remember. Thank God the bell rang. And I believe that if Henry didn't cut so easy, uh, he would be a, would have had a chance to be a champion.
In 1952, opposing heavyweight champion Jersey Joe Walcott was a test of pain. Is he gold? Every punch, he lifted Rocky off the canvas. I don't think any living human could take the punishment that Rocky took that night and still win the fight. It was unbelievable. The fight has been stopped because of the damage to Vitaly Klitschko's eye and Lennox Lewis, in spite of himself, has a successful defense. Klitschko is very upset that they've stopped the fight. Yelling no, no, no. He didn't want the fight stopped. And listen to the crowd response for Vitaly. Best things I've ever seen yeah. on a prize fighter. Yeah. Orlando makes the signal there. The fight is going to be stopped right here. They'll go to the scorecards and determine a winner. Come on, you
Teddy, just sitting ringside, observing the left ear of Sebastian Lujan, this has to be of great concern. Yeah, there's bleeding there, and there's cauliflower, like the old time. It's slowing him down, he's showing a lot of heart. But right now, I'd like to see some heart and compassion be shown by the corner of Lujan and a referee. He's and as I say it, as I say it, the referee, a former fighter, Dave Fields, does what I was expecting and hoping he would do. Steps in there, and the corner does what we were hoping they would do. They stopped the fight. You know what, Teddy? That's the right call. Let me tell you something. That blood, look at that left ear on Sebastian Lujan. The blood was getting to the point of just spray painting ringside. And in actuality, that ear is starting to come off the side of his head. He has a torn ear. It's hanging off his head. Yes, he does. My God. This shit is hanging down, man. Thank goodness they stopped this fight. His ear is starting to come off his head. It may be a little late, but thank God they stopped it. The referee stepped in there and stopped it and then brought the corner up once he did that. Because of the swelling and the irritation of the ear and the bloated condition of it from the fluid that was in there, it was obviously more susceptible to what you just see there being broken open. Now, At a certain point. And one thing Peden has going for him here is that Marquez has hit him a lot, but clearly Marquez has been able to discourage him. Yeah, Marquez has hurt him. the fight as Rocky yeah. Peden throws up in his corner. You saw him vomit into the bucket and you heard Roger Bloodworth say, you can't fight like that. Right. Right. Marquez tried to close the show in that last round and he did. And that's the only way he can fight this guy. He's relentless. He's up that pace. Well, he's done it. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. His eye is cut, Vicky. Oh, God. His eye is cut. I, it's under his eye. Yeah. And his cheek. Look at him. Oh, that hurt him. He got yeah, hit really yes. bad that time. Yes, there's a tremendous exchange there. And he's got the right formula. That's yeah. the only way. But look that's out. the only way. He took a lot of, lot of starch out of college. I know. Hey, 
ending his fight. I know. It's all wrong. They got a lot of coverage. Jake, they're oh a Look at this. No. You don't want to stop. With 19, with 17 seconds left. 15 seconds. 13 seconds. 10, all right. 10, 10. 10. All right. Nine. That's it. That's it. Wow. Save. Look at that. I bet they get up and give a big hand to home tall place. There's a lot of excitement here. You can see all right here. Just like just like the old days. You can't move. Oh, look at this. All the pants on the ground. Oh, there's Bob. There's Bob. There's a decor with him. Billy Collins. Bob is a decor with him. That must be really difficult to deal with. Well, let's hear your point of view. Let's hear your point of view on that thing. Uh, I, uh, Return of the Funky Man. I'm hip to the game.